It is judgment time, good fiver. It's your girl Esther Joy coming at you with another video on this channel. We like to talk about love, light, joy, and peace. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about this age of resurrection or judgment. Now, during this era, you will see a lot of people in society, cancel culture, try to correct things by judging them out of existence. We already know that ultimately, cancel culture is going to judge itself out of con existence and cancel itself. Now, moving forward, we see that when we judge someone, we can only do this with the perspective we have. Therefore, within us, these energies are also present, and they are just presently being aware from the external in that person or being or object that we are seeing. That object does not mean that it is entirely that, but from our perspective, it is embodying that energy. Again, everything that we judge or see as evil or bad or corrupt or literally anything is already within you, and that is why you're perceiving it. You cannot perceive something that you are not already aware of. So with that being said, when you see people judge you, know that they're pretty much just reflecting on, projecting what is already inside of them onto you. Of course, they're showing you this for a reason and you're perceiving it for a reason, but what will you do with that? Will you be like, it's all their fault that they're like this and this and that and that? Or will you realize that they're simply just projecting onto energy that you are resonating with, that you are perceiving, so that you can do what you will with it? Honestly, you can either choose to blame them for showing this energy, or thank them for showing this energy. During this age where we are pretty much living during the time of judgment, it does not mean that someone's going to come down with a gavel from the sky and then line people up one by one saying, Yeah, are you ready, son? Did you do good? Did they do good? And all your friends and family are going to come there and they're going to list off all these things? No. It's going to be within you already. No, It's not your job to judge anyone other than yourself. Okay? All of that energy that people use projecting it on other people, a lot of it is wasted. Wasted because instead of pursuing your own potential, and who am I to say that this part of your life of judgment is not a part of your potential? It very much may as well be. But when you are able to use that energy instead of judging others, investing in yourself, when you see others and they're projecting certain energies, look for in yourself how that is affecting you. Look for in yourself how you can best use this energy to allow yourself to grow in the direction you best see fit. Allow all of those judgments, all of that kind of energy that is being projected to you or by you, to assist you in focusing back onto yourself, back and enter in entering, I was going to say, anchoring in the light in this present moment towards yourself and your awareness. Not looking at other people, not judging other people, not thinking they're not doing this, that's bad, or they're not doing that, that's good. Or whatever it is, don't judge them. Just allow yourself to keep doing. If people start judging you for doing, chances are there's a part that they're not doing, okay? They're not doing it and they're projecting because that's what they do. And that's okay. Just keep doing you. <laughs> During this time, just acknowledge everyone has a purpose. Even the judgment. It has a purpose. Allow yourself to utilize everything in your life towards that higher purpose. Towards that ultimate goal for you. I don't want to make this video much longer, so you can press the thumbs up right now. If this video helped you, just remember doesn't really matter if anyone judges you. All that matters is that you are keeping your energy on you as you anchor in the light, okay? And without further ado, fam, thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, again, you can be the judge of that by pressing the thumbs up.
You can leave a comment down below if this resonated with you or if you received any insights that you'd like to share with the collective. I will see you in the next video. I hope you have an amazing day. Namaste.